no plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending. We got no plans. This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. You could watch no news, read no newspapers, talk to no one, and put duct tape over your eyes, nose, ears, and ass, and still have noticed that billions of dollars is being dumped into our elections around the country. The vast majority of it for millionaires, billionaires, and deuce extraordinaires making a mockery of our system. Most of this used to be illegal, but now it's all part of the game thanks to the 2010 Supreme Court decision, Citizens United. Although I'm suspicious that they just misspelled it and it's actually Citizens untied. Or perhaps they really misspelled it and it's actually citizens hard in the face. You know, maybe, maybe their pen slipped. So how did we end up here? How did we get to this point? Let's go back to a young Bill Clinton. All the way back before the stain on Monica's dress was just a glint in Bill's eye. Before Clinton was president, he was chairman of the Democratic Leadership Council, which had strong anti-government rhetoric and was opposed to many rules and regulation. And who gave a hundred grand to help fund the DLC? The Koch brothers. And once in office, Clinton and Gore went on a deregulating bender, including repealing the Glass-Steagall Act, allowing banks to run wild. And that's part of the story where you go, oh, I bet that comes back to bite us. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Less reported was that Clinton also made a major indictment of a massive corporation disappear. The corporation shall remain nameless, but let's just say it rhymes with Coke Brothers. Oh, no, I, I up the rhyming thing, but yeah, it, it was the Koch brothers. But that's a bedtime story for another day. For re-election, Clinton ran against a fellow named Bob Dole, who was one of Dole's sugar daddies. If you guess the Koch brothers, then you win nothing, but you were, you were still right. It was, it was the Koch brothers. But the Kochs got tired of sneaking around regulations on finance and campaigns. They thought to themselves, who is the government to tell us what we can and can't do? We have $44 billion. We can buy this government and still have enough left over for 300 million Hallmark cards to help the American people feel better about it. But before they knew it, Citizens United came along and now they can swamp elections with all the money they want. Thank the f Lord for a minute there. I thought the people of the United States were going to have to choose the president. But don't worry, the Koch brothers did not have anything to do with Citizens United. Just ask the lawyer who argued Citizens United before the Supreme Court, Ted Olson. He will tell you that when he took leave from his job at Koch Industries to represent Citizens United, it had nothing to do with the Koch brothers. Mr. Olson also happens to be the guy who made W president by arguing Bush v. Gore in front of the Supreme Court. Hold on, the guy who argued the preposterous Bush v. Gore case is the same guy who argued the utterly satanic Citizens United case? The same dude? Hold on. He, he, he couldn't have always been evil. It must have been some point in his past. Let, let's see here. In, see? In, in the 1980s, he defended Ronald Reagan against Iran-Contra? Jesus Christ, Andy worked for the Koch brothers? That's like if we found out Jerry Sandusky helped kill Natalie Holloway and then gave birth to Lloyd Blankfein. It's too much evil all bunched together. What, what is this, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse? Oh my God, Mitt Romney owns a horse. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net, and it's based on the information and reporting done by Greg Pallast in his upcoming book, Billionaires and Ballot Bandits. Learn how our democracy is being destroyed at BallotBandits.org. Also, if you feel like helping Moment of Clarity to keep going, uh, donate what you believe this episode is worth at LeeCamp.net. Thanks. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.